He's the author of at least two dozen best-selling novels, and David Baldacci's latest book, The Forgotten, has been published just this week. David joins us today from Washington, D.C., the location of many of his novels about government intrigue. Hi, David. Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, same to you. Thanks. Tell us about your latest book. Most, most of your novels are about government intrigue and power, but this one has more of a personal spin for the main character. Yeah, it does. John Puller is an Army investigator. You first saw him in last year's Zero Day. Um, he receives a troubling letter from his aunt. She lives in this retirement community in an idyllic place called Paradise, Florida, on the Gulf Coast. And she's troubled by something that's happening there. So he flies down to meet with her to see what's wrong. And unfortunately, when he gets there, she's dead. The police say it's an accident. He investigates. He thinks it's more than an accident. It really goes back to the very opening chapter of the novel where you see these people. You don't know who they are. They're being shepherded across the Gulf Coast from one oil platform to another abandoned oil platform to an unknown destination. And Puller finds that really the tip of the iceberg with his, with his aunt's death and really what's underlying all of this is a very, very dark side of paradise. Are any of your novels based on facts, or is it all just completely in your head? Well, you know, I try to build my world of fiction on a foundation of fact. So a lot of the things that you'll read about in the, in the novel, the abandoned oil platform, that's all fact. Some of the particulars of the Gulf Coast, that's all fact. And, you know, the bad stuff, the, the murder, the mayhem, and all the conspiracies, of course, that's all factual as well. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's my imagination. You know, what could be if something like this might happen? But there's a lot in the headlines recently that I would think would, uh, would be, you know, food for writing later with the Secret Service scandal and what's been going on with David Petraeus and General Allen. We might see that down the road in one of your books. Yeah, I was on the CBS Morning Show the other day, and they asked me if I would write about the, the scandal. It seems like every time I have a book out, there's a scandal. <laughs> My, um, the, the, the Innocent came out of the Secret Service. This book came out, it was Petraeus. And, um, I, I hope we can do better than just sort of snatching stuff off the headlines. Um, but yeah, there's every time I wake up and I go to my office in Virginia, I look across the Potomac River to D.C., it's like ideas just pop out of nowhere. It's just amazing, the place. You know, it's a place that's full of high stakes, a lot of powerful people. The rest of the country and the world know it's very influential and has a big impact on their lives. And I think that alone makes it a place that people pay attention to. And it seems like there's more and more interest in that sort of thing, like the Homeland, the, the Showtime series. People like this, this kind of story. They really do. The stakes are high. The impact can be very personal, and the repercussions are felt everywhere. I mean, you see what's going on in the Middle East right now. The, the U.S. is sort of the world's policeman. They're going to have to make, you know, some course of action very soon. We don't know what that's going to be, but when it does come, it will impact everybody on Earth, and that's pretty powerful stuff. That's something you can't make up. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> David, thanks for being with us today. Good luck with the new book, The Forgotten, and again, happy Thanksgiving to you. Same to you. Thank you very much.